never know I didn't know what I was gonna find I saw the flash of light just before the now Oh, what a beautiful sight Then I was flying I was flying Oh, super book well, I was afraid to look Super book Oh, super book Today's story, The Walls of Jerusalem. Over at the house just down the street and around the corner, Joy is about to pay a visit on her friend Chris. Here I come, ready or not. Hi, Chris. Hi, Joy. What are you supposed to be doing here, Christopher? Well, what does it look like I'm doing here? Fixing a busted fence. Well, you don't have to look so sad about it. That's important work. It keeps out crooks. Maybe you think so, but I've got a lot more important things to do with my time. Chris? Mrs. Peeper, hi there! My, you've come at the right time. I'm making a marshmallow cake. Finish up, Chris, and you can have some. Cake? I'll work as fast as I can. Boys, they say it will be boys. It looks good. Yum! Mm -hmm. Yum! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be quiet, Ruffles. Dogs eat bones, but cake is for people. <laughs> hey, time for Super Bowl. Yeah. I wonder where we'll be going today. Today, my friends, we'll go back to ancient Jerusalem to see how the great Nehemiah rebuilt its walls. If you're sure you're ready, we can leave right now. Ready! to visit with a man whose name I can't remember. To Jerusalem? Hmm. Wait there. They look like bad guys, don't you think? Ah, don't be scared. Watch your step. Bad news. Why are you both so worried? Well, now, passing through here on your way to Jerusalem, right? Not by any chance going there to pay a little visit to Nehemiah. All right, what are you two up to? I think you're both spies. We're not spies. We're from the 20th century. Shh, now. He means it's uh, been a long trip. Talk scenic route. Stop the fibbing. I know that you're spies. Ha, uh, were you making a joke, sir? Ah, uh, you'll find out soon enough that I don't go in for joking. Hey, stay back. You hear? <laughs> you aren't going to Jerusalem now or ever. Hey, you take your hands off! Stop, Get away, kid! I'll show him! Oh, no, you don't. Stop! Consternation! Consternation! Consternation. Consternation. That state of affairs! Villainy! Villainy! Consternation squared! Oh, those children are being assaulted by evil men over there. Go and rescue them. 
Yes, sir. Hey, hey there! Hey! Wait this way! This? What do you think you're doing? Where did they come from? It. Let's go! Hey, where are they going? Are you all right? Follow me. Hmm? Well there, are you all right? Yes, we are, and we sure are glad that you came. We thank you, sir. You saved our lives. Thank you, from the bottom of my spring. I'm very pleased that I could help. Now stay away from evil men. We sure will. Um, pardon me. Yes, boy? We want to go to Jerusalem. Can you show us how to get there? That'll be easy. I'm going to Jerusalem, too. It's not too far away. Oh, oh. is that right? Oh. Well, what about if we came along with you? That would be fine. Now that we're friends, you should know that my name is Nehemiah. Oh. Hey, are you really? That's right. Do you mean that you've heard of me before? We sure have, and we were told that you're a great and important man. <laughs> my importance is my work. Saving that, I'm a man like any other man. Well then, let us be off to Jerusalem now. Lead the way. We're ready. Oh, he Chris? saved our lives. Let's go. Right. Jerusalem, here we come. What if... Shut up. I'll get you yet, Nehemiah. I think we're getting close. There it is! I can't believe this is Jerusalem. The walls are all busted. What do you suppose happened? I think we can find a resting place for you children now. This place could really use some fixing up. Looks like Nehemiah's got himself quite a job. Here now, it's an old stable. We'll stop. Hey, Gray, look, there's some straw. My favorite kind of bed. Yay, a place to sleep. Uh, 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 what are you so tired about? You haven't done anything yet. What's that? I saved you from those bad guys. Save Remember? me? You just struggled in their arms. Huh. Huh. Well, I certainly tried. You have to admit that. Yes, and I appreciate it. That was scary. I hope they don't come anywhere near us anymore. Or bother Nehemiah. Well, if they do, I'll pulverize them. Attention. Huh? What? What is it, Gizmo? Is it those bad guys? Attention, Nehemiah, going somewhere. Wow. What? what do you think, Chris? I don't know. What could it be? Let's go after him. Mm hmm. Good. No sleep tonight. Too bad. Over here. Well, it seems he's checking if the stones are all right. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. How's this one here? Looks fine. And this one looks good. We must begin. The stones are all at hand. We have no more time to lose. We must start tomorrow. Hooray! Who's there? Speak up now. It's only us. We were just making sure that you were all right. We figured that maybe we could, you know, help you. <laughs> Thank you. I do appreciate your real concern. True friends are hard to find, and just your being here has helped me. But, oh, my friends, is there something that's wrong? Could you explain something to us? We just don't understand why it's so important for you to rebuild the wall. My people. The Jews are my people. Do you know why the four walls of Jerusalem are now broken and useless? No, we don't. I will tell you. Jerusalem was once a beautiful city until that morning when we woke up to find the armies of Babylon around us about to break through our walls. They were destroyers who cared for nothing. Our houses, our glorious temple, all were in ruins. Our people fought bravely, but we were no match for their numbers. Those who survived were taken captive, forced to leave our beloved Jerusalem, to travel like beasts of burden, and take up life again as slaves in faraway Babylon. 
for many, many years with our bodies we slaved in Babylon, while our thoughts and our hearts remained in Jerusalem. Always Jerusalem. And then it happened. One glorious night, the armies of Persia stole into Babylon, surprised our oppressors, and conquered the land. And as they entered in triumph, we wondered how they would treat us. To our joy, the great king of Persia proclaimed that the Jews were free to return to Jerusalem. Since I was cupbearer to the king, I could not go back with my fellow Jews. I learned from travelers that the temple was rebuilt, but the walls were still broken, and I lifted my voice to the Lord. Please, my God, help me make my way to Jerusalem, that I may rebuild the walls, my Lord. Amen. God heard my prayer, and now I am here, and I am entrusted with a great and mighty mission. And now, you see, my people must rebuild the wall quickly and make it stronger than it was before, so that no enemy will ever attack us again. Now I see why you must rebuild it. I'm huh? all ready to help. We'll all pitch in and do it in no time, right? Hey, Gizmo, what about you? You're probably stronger than anyone. Ready and willing. Up, up, and away. Uh-oh, uh -oh. uh -oh. it's my spring winding down. Uh -oh. <laughs> Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, who has seen fit to send me to Jerusalem. Guide me and protect me that I may rebuild all her walls. Amen. My friends, all of us love our city, and yet we have left it unprotected, and our enemies can walk right in here at any time. We know why you've come, Nehemiah, but the job is beyond our power. Maybe our enemies will just leave us alone. No, that will not be. Evil men are plotting all the time. God will help us again, just as he helped you rebuild the temple. Our temple stands as God's holy house. Would you see it destroyed again? No, my dear friends, never again. All of us together will rebuild the walls. The Persian king supports us, and there is no more time to be had. Oh. <laughs> what do you think about this Nehemiah? Well, he cares about Jerusalem. But that's some big job. He's right. What he just said makes sense. How can there be the slightest doubt about it? We must protect our city. Yes, we must. Remember once before we stood here and watched our city burn when we did not heed God's warning? Now Nehemiah has God's favor and we must listen or we'll lose our Jerusalem again. I agree. Let's get to work right away. I agree. I know we can do it. When we start, we we can do it right now! Praise is be to the Lord! I knew it! I knew it! God has answered all his prayers! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! This is a blessed day, my son. With God's help, we will surely succeed. May it be. We'll be a great nearly, Nehemiah! We'll do it! When will you be ready to begin, Nehemiah? To the men... Tobiah, do you see what I see? It's those bad guys! <laughs> <laughs> well, Tobiah, look, the Jews are out. Looks like they're having a little picnic. <laughs> <laughs> those two men are Sambalit and Tobiah. They must have heard about the walls, and they've come here to try to stop us. They are enemies of the Jewish people. I've seen them. You, men! <laughs> <laughs> well... Look who's there. We have our work to do and do not wish to be annoyed. But if you insist on interfering, you will certainly regret it. Is that so? Get out of here when you can! Let me out! Let me out! Just let me get my hands on uh, Come on. Fools. Let's go. I'm afraid that they will be back. 
I'm quite certain that they will be back. But the Lord will protect us and he will watch over us. Very quickly the work began. Everyone had a job. Men and women, young and old, strong and weak, all were put to work by Nehemiah. Pulling, lifting, digging, prying, shaping, carrying, or simply helping. The work was very hard indeed, but no one complained. The Jews were used to hard work. When they had been slaves in Babylon, the work was hard and bitter, for it was done for cruel masters. But now the work was hard and sweet, for it was to protect their own city, their houses, and the great and holy Jewish temple. Two, three, four, hi! Two, three, four, hi! Two, three! Up, up, and down. Embarrassing. Oh, well. Slowly and steadily, the walls around Jerusalem began to take shape. <laughs> Tobiah, look at those poor pitiful brutes. From morning till night, they labor while the great Nehemiah gets all the glory. What glory? This wall will fall right over with the next big wind. <laughs> <laughs> you boob. What? They aren't even listening to us. I think it's about time that we began playing a rougher game with them. Agreed. Let's go. Goodbye, rats. The time has now come to show the Jews that we will not be trifled with. No longer will we wait. They're rebuilding their walls. Get ready to storm their stupid town, then we'll tear the place apart. <laughs> and Nehemiah's mind. Let's go! Nehemiah! Where's Nehemiah? Nehemiah! What's the matter? Our sentry on the road to Samaria reports that Sanballat's army is on the way here to attack. On the way here? Huh? Don't be afraid. Trumpeter! Trumpeter! Can you hear me? Battle stations! What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You know what it is? What is it? Battle stations! Battle stations! Retreat! Ah. Hooray! 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 We thank you, Lord. People of Jerusalem, we have seen once more that God protects those who revere him. Now let us return to rebuilding the walls. Yay! The people of Jerusalem worked harder and faster than ever to get the job done. The attack by Sanballat and his men only proved that Nehemiah was right, that the enemies of the Jews would be tempted to attack as long as the walls were not rebuilt. And now, with hard work and great skill, they were almost completed. That is the best wall in the world. It isn't yet, but it will be just as soon as it's finished. Hey, hey. there's Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Ah, uh, still up? Hey, Nehemiah, how come you're leaving at midnight? I'm off to pay a visit to an old friend of mine named Shemaiah. He sent word that he received a message for me from the Lord God. From God? How about if we came with you? Would that be okay? Okay. Nehemiah. 
Maya, go and hide yourself in the temple. Your enemies will be coming in the night to kill you. Only in the temple will you be safe. In the temple? But it is forbidden to use the temple for such a reason. That is the message. It came in a vision. Can I believe this, old man? Would God say such a thing? It is God's law that the temple may only be used for prayer. God would never tell a man to sin. Why are you silent, <laughs> Nehemiah? Shemaiah, do you speak the truth? Oh, forgive me, dear Nehemiah, for I have given you a false message. <gasps> Why, Shemaiah? Why would you ask a man to commit a sin before his fellow man and God? Sanballat and Tobiah, who wished to bring dishonor upon you, turn the people against you. And they paid me. Uh, forgive this foolish old man. I understand, Shemaiah, a moment of weakness. Now lift up your face, for I forgive you. Thank you, Nehemiah. surely be one of the great men of all time. And even more. Hold up, what about me? Have we met before? <laughs> very funny, very, very ha, funny. Ha, ha. The spies kept trying, but nothing stopped the rebuilding. And finally... On the 52nd day after the very first stone was lifted, the walls were completed. Jerusalem. Thank you, my people. Thank you. Keep along the rainbow road Through the sky 